Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and a internet friend of mine, a subscriber, uh, took my layered art and went the next step and, and did a pretty good pretty good job of this star. I'm really proud of him. It looks really good. And I just drew one and, and colored in the different layers. So this is what it would be look like if you painted it well. And really, like he said, his wife didn't like to paint it. And after I painted my first one, I didn't really like it either. This is really easy. I'm not going to put in a name on this video. This is going to be just a simple star. So for the video, we're going to get this guy out of the way. And so we'll have room to work. But just take your straw star. And if you don't know where your star is, it's underneath your polygon flyout. And just hit star. And holding down the control button to draw a perfect star. I made my star 10 inches to start with, 10 inches across. We're going to go up to effects, contour. We're going to contour to the inside seven times at an eighth of an inch. And voila, it's already done. Now, this is this is a little bit monotonous, but it's, it's so easy. Go up to a range and break contour apart. Select it all again and ungroup it because it's still a group. Whoop, a grouped object. We want to ungroup objects. Now, take your very first star and make a duplicate of it. Control D and move it down. I just hit the left arrow or the bottom arrow key, the down arrow key. Now we need a duplicate of that. Control D, I'm going to move it over. Well, it should have moved over quite a bit. Let's delete that. I'm going to hit the wrong key. Control D and move it over. There we go. Now take your inner star. It looks like it's still together, so let's ungroup it. Take your inner star and move it over to the right and down. Take your Smart Fill tool, and we're going to fill them all in with black for the video. Take and fill it in with black. Move it over. Delete your inner star. Grab your next inner star. Just left a right arrow key and then down arrow key. What I'm doing, I'm creating the layers. Take the inner star and delete it. Next, get your next inner star. Right arrow key, down arrow key. Fill it in. And we'll put it up here. I'm only going to do like four layers because you'll get the idea. So I'm deleting that inner star. I'm taking the next inner star, filling it in, and then I'm going to move it up there. And just continue doing that for the, well, it didn't take that long. Let's go ahead and do one more at least. Take your Smart Fill tool. And what your Smart Fill tool is doing, it's making your, your lines or your cutouts. Tell you what, we'll go and do the whole star. There's only a couple more. Deleting that inside star. And I'm grabbing the inside star, the next size. And you can see they're getting progressively larger. We need to do one more. And this project will be completed. This one you'll probably have to zoom in a little bit. Get your Smart Fill tool. Fill in that gap. Now, you need this, this star. This is going to be your back. This is going to be the part that's going to be your back layer. And the other stars, you don't need this one anymore. Let's get rid of my colored star. And let's take all these stars and left-click, no fill, right-click, hairline. Just look down here and make sure that they're hairlines so they will cut out of the plywood. That's what it's going to look like. And it's also by using the Smart Fill tool that's grouped together. Don't ever move anything like that if you, if you plan to do something. So let's take our star 
and move it over. Well, I must have moved that one. But anyway, you get the idea. So this is going to be seven layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, eight layers because I forgot about the bottom one. And then you just cut those out and stack them. And this would be a prime example. And the guy who did this did a really good job of stacking them. And if you haven't watched my other videos in this series about how to make a jig, you don't really have to make the jig, but uh, putting that little bit of, a, of a glue on the surface is more difficult than you think in, while clamping. So watch my previous videos and get some ideas from there. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.